All right, we are good to go. Okay. So the next thing we have need to do is approve the minutes from the September 12th meeting. Just got a few little things and I did not get that into the draft minutes that were in the packet, but I do have your list. Um, clean up, yeah. Okay. I have no additional observation. I would move that we accept the minutes. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Everybody is here for either to hang out and watch or uh, because we have stuff on the agenda. So, okay. Um, so the airport construction projects. Projects. Runway 1230. Uh, we're having some trouble with some of our lighting equipment. Uh, we're getting more replacement parts in for our, our two fire drills. Um, Carl, you got a better idea of what's going on with all of that you want to do? Um, everything was, <laughs> I, it was supposed to be done. Uh, when I called them, they said we put in last week, they put in boards for the reels on 25, and they were working and they put them in. And then they had the ones for 30 came in, they put those in. They've changed the lights out. And so I was going to check, make sure everything was working. And I called the day and they said, well, they were out because those two five reels went out again. They were messing around with them and they were they were kind of like going on and off. So they got on the phone with the manufacturer and they determined, oh, it sounds like another bad board. Supposedly they're overnighting another board. And so if it gets overnighted, um, they swap it out. Hopefully that'll do it. I mean, they're, um, as soon as that's done, we, I mean, we're waiting to schedule the FA flight check, but the worst thing we can do is schedule a flight check and, and something's not working. Right? Yeah. Then they show up, it's not working. They have to come back and they charge you for both of them. So mm -hmm. we always check, make sure everything's working. When everything's working, then we'll schedule it. And then a couple of days before they show up, I like to check it in. Yeah. So that, um, I mean, you know, if something goes out 30 minutes before they show up, there's not a lot you can do. But, um, but uh, we're, we've, we told the Chris has been working with FA and they say, Are you ready for the flight check? He says, I'll let you know. He calls me and says, Is there anything working? I says, I'll let you know today, later in the day. And then I talk to the flight official. Oh, now the board went out. I'm going to check for like a few of the grading issues of some and some of those. And also, you see the little bag go out there. We are putting with those two metal signs where they run, where they run the sections. We're yeah. putting lighted signs. Right. So you will see them out there. Um, they're going to try to work back away so as to minimize any impacts of the operations. Uh, and I know we're working with my uh, So they're going to get to uh, get all the, the time to work done and the wiring done. And then as soon as the signs are exposed a couple weeks out, and as soon as they show up on that, we do not need the signs to do that big flight check. That's extra. So. Good. Solar power project, I think for the most part, things are proceeding at pace. They seem to be on the schedule for uh, having their stuff wrapped up maybe by the end of next week. Uh, we'll be ready to turn it over to Midam to do their uh, checks and verifications so that we can turn the system on. Uh, Charles, did you have anything you wanted to throw into it? No, I have a question. Yep. I didn't know we could advertise for companies. Like the signs that say the solar stuff around. It's is that legal <laughs> for us to be advertising? It's uh, it's a gray area. Okay. Uh, now we we talked to we talked to uh, uh, NDS and the, the permit office, and because we're a public zone entity, um, we're a different thing. Yeah, it's just like the city different. doesn't mind us doing that. I not not on a not on a unofficial not on a unofficial but it's like it's a limited thing. Okay, um, I think just got a surprise to see it. No, I yeah, it's okay. it's uh, it's always it's always been a weird thing for the Air Force in signation construction activity. So it's uh, probably not a bad thing in this case from the standpoint of the solar project is something the airport wants to promote what they're doing. Yeah, no, it's it's, yeah. it's no, not no, a bad it's, thing, no, but it's, it's, it's yeah, it's the, the way the zoning is the... have an advertising policy. Yeah, I mean, I'm not wrong about that. I guess I didn't, yeah, I didn't notice, sorry. Okay. 
Yeah, but it's kind of it's kind of the same gray area when sort of op, the Optimus Club it, it hangs the the, bre okay. the breakfast yes. banners. It's okay. <laughs> Any other place that wouldn't get done? Do we know how long Mid America will take to us? Well, they, they, like, they have like two weeks, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, they good. It took like six weeks from the top solar place. Waiting for them to start accepting electricity from me. So, I, yeah, <laughs> there's a few steps to jump through, but once I kind of get the final step, it's not a two week process. Okay, it's not a um, we are also looking at approximately November 14th for a ribbon cutting ceremony. We kind of wanted to get through the mid end process to where the system was on and operational. Uh, Shannon McMahon with the city communications and Sarah Gardner, the climate action coordinator uh, with the city, are helping me plan that. They're actually taking control of planning that for me. Um, but we're going to do some type of uh, celebration when, uh, when we get to that point. So, okay, the 14th, and it's an airport commission meeting day already. Um, but uh, put, you know, put that in your calendars, and then we're going to invite. Pretty much everybody that's been involved, the legislators, the council, and everybody you would expect for something like that. The newspapers. Yeah, newspapers. Yeah. Um, Very good. So, yeah. Terminal building, we're still waiting for the FAA to announce any type of awards. But then just talking with Travis and Carl and uh, folks that are in the industry, we're not sure what the holdup is like. They moved everything up. They moved the, the application process up. We thought, you know, there was there was anticipation within the industry that they did it because election season. They wanted to do the announcements at the beginning of the federal fiscal year in October. Well, we're in the middle of October now, and still it's been quiet. So, um, you know, I was kind of kind of answering us for everything else that we got planned too. So. The problem with airports in Florida from the storms, would they be getting higher priority right now? That it, wouldn't, it wouldn't impact this side of things, or at least it shouldn't. Um, okay, I'm just curious. Anyway. Uh, the five-year engineering consultant wow. RQ that doc, that publication is out. We've announced it. Uh, several folks have gotten their copies of the RQ, so you know we're expecting some pretty good responses. Uh, you know, as we talked about last month, uh, if we get more than three or four, we'll probably do a uh, preliminary review and and uh, first round weed out and then forward. Uh, you know, three or four finalists up to the commission for their use and. What you guys run from there? Okay. Uh, FAA AIP three application. That one's just in there. It's kind of the call letter went out, so just a, a little bit of an awareness of the schedule. Um, I've actually forgotten the dates already, but typically November first, first Thanksgiving, we have to have a draft into the FAA and the state, and they kind of review it and give comments back, and then in December we submit a, a final formal version. Um, I have uh, I have two grants. <laughs> uh, we still still don't have any open grants. Uh, again, application process is going to be next April ish. Uh, I think right now it's it, again it's one of those things. It uh, depends on how the pendulum swings for the terminal building. Um, what we start targeting for uh, funding, whether that's uh, HVAC or other stuff, because we have terminal. Uh, money or, or so we do have certainly a, a nice list of, of things you have to do with with our money. Um, airport operations. Um, based the big thing tonight is our budget prep and our budget submittal for uh, fiscal year twenty six. We did have I did have in the packet a. Uh, Budget that uh, Ryan and Chris and I had worked on and, and, and uh, agreed to, and then in, in around a week or so, uh, because we're also approaching the deadline to get to, and other departments have uh, gotten some numbers updated, and I've also been able to confirm numbers with our risk management, so our insurance numbers are accurate. We don't have the surprise that we did last year. Um, 
Uh, so right now the budget we're presenting or that I'm presenting is, uh, I mean, it's still a status quo budget. It doesn't really change anything for what we've been operating. But with the uh, rental increases and with the food storage increases, we are projecting a uh, approximately 20,500 uh, surplus. Yes. So I got us to to the point where we have a two in front of that, that number, which makes yeah. me a little bit happier. Um, <laughs> So it doesn't mean we have, like, I mean, that's, again, picking us up from where we've been in the last couple of years. Uh, I mean, I talked about a couple of months ago how we were, you know, 30, 40,000 over budget because of stuff that was breaking. Um, uh, it does capture more of that. It's still, if we get that level of stuff, which we shouldn't be getting gate operators and other things that should be one-time fees every 20 years. Um, but if we do have a, a bad year, it's still going to hurt us. But we do have um, more maintenance money uh, covered in there, and then with the surplus, we can start building up that cash balance again. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah. Um, so with that, um, if everybody's okay with the submittal, what I would ask for is a motion to submit. Uh, based on what was presented, and I will do that, and I have to do that by the end, basically the end of the day on Friday, uh, because they do lock the system uh, Monday morning. Can I maybe one from the Maybe a question for the FY26 budget. Second. Yes. Okay. We <laughs> we'll just... we'll go. A roll call. All in favor. All in favor. Uh, aye. Aye. Uh, tea hanger lease language. I'm researching a couple of things that um, just to make sure we're not violating any other FAA public grant obligations or uh, uh, based on the conversation we had last month. But um, I think we probably will have something for you at the next meeting uh, just to review and make sure we're, we're comfortable with. And then we'll send that out to the tenants and invite comments. and. Uh, before we do a formal approval. I'm, try, I'm also trying to time it so we don't have all of that coming at us in December with what we're trying to do with reviews and um sounds good. Okay. Um events events have wrapped up for the year. We do have a couple of just small internal stuff. Today we hosted the uh, Greater Iowa City Business Line, which is um uh the that economic development organization of, of Iowa City and Coralville and uh, used to be think Iowa City or no it used to be ICAD and uh, something else. I can't my brain's mush. Um, but a couple of organizations merged. They they created the Greater Iowa City uh, business leader leadership group and uh, had I don't know about 25 people or so come out for lunch. Mm -hmm. Uh, took a quick tour of the airport, got over to OPL, showed them what OPL does. Um, all in all, went pretty well. Uh, the first week in November, we're hosting the uh, Community Leadership Program class, which uh, that'll be the Economic Development Day, which uh, they come onto the airport and learn why, how the airport is valuable to economic development and uh, the things we do to help encourage uh, that stuff. So that's uh, going to happen. And that's uh, outside of that, but uh, next year we'll start the cycle over with uh, young eagles and pancake breakfast and hopefully drive in Louis with Summer of the Arts and yeah. With these business groups and stuff visiting the airport, is there any way we can potentially tap into those organizations as if we need their support for you know new terminal? Uh it's Mike did a really good job of talking about kind of the initiatives and talking about terminal. I mean, I, I don't get the impression that they're the, the kind of group that would necessarily be one to donate funds or something like that into it, but I think definitely support. And I, you know, I think we, as a support letter, we need support to think about what we can do to boost their flood income. And is, is there some kind of appropriate commercial activity that we could make use of? You know what I'm going to say. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's something for us to continue to keep it. Right? Yeah. 
Uh, and that takes us to FBO flight training, jet air, and that. Yep. <clears throat> um, I don't have anything super urgent or important or final together. Our zero turn board was rolled for a while in this bag, so we were able to get the Boeing kind of caught up again. Um, okay. Probably for the last time of the year. Uh, we'll see. Um, uh, one of our employees, uh, Dean, just got his CDL today, which is good. That'll help for um, having an addition because we're going to get our plow trucks to get gas and have to have it to plow snow in order to go on the road to get gas and have the CDL. So, anyway, so he got that. So that's another person that can help us um, for the winter. Um, but other than that, nothing on the maintenance side of things. As far as an update, you know, we participated when Mike did this tour thing. That was a really good thing. Um, next week is the NBAA, the National Business Aviation Association, um, and Iowa City does have so sort of, um, Jet Air has a booth there through our fuel supplier. So Titan is the branded fuel supplier for um, Jet Air. Gives us a booth every year. So we're part work within their booth, but. Most of that advertise, we have giveaways and stuff like that. It advertises all of Jet Air's locations. So I would say one of those. So that'll be um, one event. And we all end up surprising. You know, you get people who walk up from flight departments and everything to visit the area. But, um, so that's good. But on that, I don't have anything else for the Jet Air site. Unless there's any questions. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. Um, Mr. Remember's reports. Yeah. Is done. No? Uh, they've acknowledged they got the letter, and that's all the last I've heard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we just went out and had a grand I need a. We need a. We need a success story. Yeah. Um, okay. Staff report. I don't have anything. I uh, have had a couple of extra meetings with the Iowa Public Airports Association. We're putting together our legislative priorities for uh, airports across the state. Um, so there's been a couple of extra just Zoom phone call meetings uh, for that. But otherwise, um, number, yeah, I don't think I have anything. No Christmas vacation, presumably. Yeah. Next meeting, November 14th, regular 6 p.m. I should be able to make that. I plan to be here. Yep. Hopefully, you'll be here. <laughs> okay. Make a motion, Major. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.